Margaret could not believe that all the contestants failed. She spent most of the day crying in her office. How could this have happened to me? If only Fred were still here, none of this would be happening. Margaret exits her office and makes a slow pitfall walk across the building to Fred's new office. What's up, Margaret? How did the competition go? Oh, it went great. We're still finalizing the position. It's just been so tough to choose from such qualified candidates. Are you sure everything is alright? <sighs> no. Everyone who was in the competition was awful. I gave them the best instructions and they all failed to even do the most basic tasks. I am such a great manager and no one seems to listen to me. Margaret, you're a wonderful person and a good manager, but you like everyone else to have skills that you need to improve on. You can at times be demanding and don't always cater to the needs of others. And I'm not sure if a competition was the best choice of a validation technique. Margaret asks Fred what he would have done in each situation when she realizes his actions would have been the appropriate ones. She also realizes that she needs Fred, and it's been him all along. Fred, please come back! I just don't know, Margaret. It was incredibly tough for me working there these past few years. I have a place here now with people who respect and trust me. I realize now that I let my position power get to my head, I promise to work on my interpersonal skills and become a more charismatic leader. Well, I guess I can give you another chance, but I'm going to need a raise. Oh, Fred, you won't regret this. You just made me the happiest woman on earth. Now get me coffee. Oh, wait, sorry, I can do that myself now. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, well, at least I got the raise I wanted. <laughs> Margaret has promised to make a lot of changes, not only to her personality, but also for Fred. Will she hold her promise? Tune into the final episode to find out.